Here we are at the UK Lofar station at Chibolton and let's go inside. Each international Lofar station has three main components. It has a set of 96 high band antennas, these black boxes. It has a set of 96 low band antennas and the cables from all of these antennas come together in the RF container where the signals are combined and sent on their way to the Netherlands. We are in the middle of the LBA or low band antenna field. We have 96 of these uh, antennas scattered across this field. LBAs uh, work between frequencies of about 30 to 80 megahertz. Above 80 megahertz, of course, we have the FM radio, uh, radio stations transmitting. And so LBAs have been designed to suppress uh, radio waves at those frequencies. Each LBA is relatively simple. We have this metal ground plane, um, which is a metal mesh which reflects the radio waves from the sky. The antennas themselves are these metal wires. We have four of them making two perpendicular dipoles. The LNA, or low noise amplifier, at the top of this pole amplifies the signal and sends it down the cables uh, over to the container where it will be combined with the signals from all the other antennas. Okay, this is the high band antenna array. Uh, it works at higher frequencies than the low band antenna. It works between 120 and 240 megahertz. That's above the radio FM band. It is also different uh, in design. You can see that it is a close, a, a compact array, unlike the low band array. And it consists of 96 tiles, which are here protected from the rain by these covers. Each tile actually has 16 antenna in them. And they're all practically touching. So we've opened one of them so we can have a look inside. This metal butterfly is the actual antenna. It's a dipole antenna. There is a metal grid in the floor, which is the ground plane. The signals from the sky bounce off from the ground plane onto the dipole antennas. There are two of them at right angles. So this is one of them, and the other one is in this direction. And the signal goes into this low noise amplifier, into the cable, and gets combined with all the other antenna in this array. We're now inside the RF container. RF starts for radio frequency. And here we see the electronics that are combining the signals from all the different antennas. So this is all producing radio noise. In order to prevent it from reaching uh, the antennas, we are in this container which blocks all the noise. When you think of a radio telescope, you're probably thinking of a solid piece of structure that has to mechanically move to point to a piece of sky. And a good example is that 25 meter dish we have in the background. Lofar is different. The antennas you see here cannot move. Each of them can receive signals from the whole sky, so it is sensitive to the whole sky. But when we combine them, when we add them, they become sensitive only to a certain region of the sky. So basically they're now pointing. If we don't add any electronic delay, they're pointing straight up. The combined sensitivity is straight up. But we can add electronic delays in a computer and then combine the signal. And now, because we've added a delay, actually the sensitivity is in a different direction. So you can actually point the telescope. But you don't point it by moving. What you do is you point it by adding electronic delays in the computers in the container. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the UK Lofar station at Chibolton.